Hello, all my wonderful community viewers and first time viewers. This is Granny Gamester here with a short video trailer of my new role play, The Sea Raven. Yeah, this series will be live streamed every Monday starting tomorrow, June 13th at 11 a.m. U.S. Mountain Time and again at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Now, I will be playing uh, the Conan Exiles Isle of Sipta map. And in enhanced role playing, I will be using the mods Better Thralls, Savage Steel, Shadows of Skelos, Immersive RP, and Pippi. I will be playing on a PC using an Xbox controller, and I will be using the Barbarian Hard Mode setting. And I will lose everything upon death. All other settings will be left at default, with the exception of Thrall Crafting Time. Uh, yeah, and chat will be able to engage in the story with lots of surprises in store. So, uh, yeah, come join me in this high seas adventure. So this is the story of the sea raven, Awilda, and it begins when she is but a street orphan in the coastal city of Cordova in Zangara. She had learned at a very young age that posing as a boy would keep her much safer. So she cut her raven black hair and donned a shirt and trousers. During the day, she would roam the city looking for food and opportunity. The night, with all its dangers and hidden shadows, was not a place to venture into. She had heard stories of children who went out at night, and they vanished and were never heard from again. But this night, she was more hungry than she could bear. Yeah, she slowly and carefully crept in the shadows, following the walls in the many buildings lining the streets. She knew where the taverns were, and that sometimes meant scraps were thrown out back. She was, if she was lucky enough, she could beat some of the stray dogs and cats to the meager scraps. As she was inching forward, she felt a hot breath on the back of her neck, and two very strong arms enveloped her. Getcha, my little laddie, he grunted as, he tried, as she tried to free herself with fist pounding and legs kicking. She was no match for him, though, and the next thing she knew, a sack was jammed over her head with legs and hands bound. There were two voices now, and she was carried off. After what seemed like forever, she was dumped rather gruffly on the floor of what she surmised to be a ship. She could smell the sea air and the lap of the water against the ship. There was loud and body laughter from the drunken crew and she was terrified she dare not move as her hands and legs were untied when the sack was lifted off her head she found herself staring into the most terrifying eyes of the captain well he bellowed is this the best you can do the two men cowered and meekly said he's all we could find captain not too bright but looks strong enough to do most tasks the captain circled her, giving her a little nudge with his boot. Get up, boy. She slowly stood up, but looked him square in the eye, chin up. Her eyes were as blue as the sea itself, and her hair was as black as the night. Something about the boy pleased the captain, despite his lack of size and, and age. Do you know who I am, boy? She slowly shook her head, signifying a no. With a hearty laugh, he roared, I'm Captain Blackmane Fane, and this is the Sapphire Mist, the most feared sailing ship in the Western Seas. You have the rare privilege, boy, to be Captain's cabin boy. What say you? Well, years went by, and Awilda grew taller and stronger. The captain took an almost fatherly affection for her, and although gruff and stern, treated her fairly. He made it well known among the crew that she was his cabin boy. There came a day, though, when Awilda was no longer able to conceal her gender. She had been binding her breast and wearing a heavy jacket to conceal herself, but her features were becoming more feminine and her voice a little softer. There were rumors amongst the crew, so one fateful day the captain decided to walk in on her in her cabin. She was not fully dressed and they locked eyes. He slowly looked her up and down as he muttered, so it's true. 
The rest goes down in history. Black Mean Fiend claimed her as his daughter and taught her everything he knew. She would be the best female pirate the Western Seas would ever know. Someone to be feared, even by the crew. It was well known that women aboard a ship were bad luck, but Black Mane quelled that fear with the record treasure and luck they had claimed all the years she had been aboard with them. He named her Sea Raven of the Sapphire Mist and bequeathed to her his ship and all his worldly treasures. Like Black Mane, she was fair but stern with her crew. They both respected her and loved her and were true and loyal. She was lethal with daggers and sword, and her reputation preceded her. She had an iron will and the fortitude to weather any storm. Until one tragic night, the seas were high, and a storm raged on until the exhausted crew could no longer keep the sapphire mist into the waves. A sixty-foot rogue wave appeared out of nowhere and enveloped the sea, the sapphire mist, shattering her into a thousand pieces. The sea raven, along with her crew, were tossed into the sea.